let's make this construction site environment together. I will show you how to build up the scene, add the workers, set up a good lighting and fog, then add the trees and clouds. I just created this new project using the film, then blank template. Start by creating a new level. Pick basic, then create. Delete that ground. Click selection mode and choose landscape. That ground is too big. Change these two numbers to one. You can change the brush size and tool strength here. Higher tool strength, taller mountains faster. Control Z to undo that. I will put the tool strength very low and the brush size low enough too, because I don't want any big mountains here. Just a ground that's not perfectly flat. Back to selection mode. I didn't save this level yet. Should really do that. Control plus S, then name it. And I'm serious, name it. Stay organized. That's so important when working on bigger projects. Control space will open the content drawer. You can see the new level we just created is here. You named it, right? Open bridge. We'll find some cool stuff there. To the left, click on collections. Search roadside. And oh, look, there it is. So many assets we can use here. But first, let's find a surface for the ground. There's probably something good in debris. Oh, look, a construction pack. Now we got to pick only one. This one looks perfect to me. Download, then add. You can close this. Okay, we got the ground material. We can go back to the construction pack. I'll take this. Download, then export. The cone too. These two barriers for sure. Also, these three construction piles. Two more cones could be useful. As always, you need to export it to your project. Downloading, just put them in your computer. Don't forget the barricade. Very important. This big concrete pipe and the hazard light to put on the barricade. All right, go back to the project tab. You now want to get rid of the error message, so click on play, then on stop. Looks like it worked. You now select the ground by clicking on it. Scroll down and find landscape material. Search for the name of the material you just downloaded and click on it. It seems that the texture repeats itself too much. Let's quickly fix that. Basically, you can just double click on the material right here. Check tiling, open with the little arrow, then change these two numbers. In simple terms, putting a low value here, zoom in in the texture. Click the save icon, then close this window. Wait, I'll try a little lower. What about 0.1? Okay, not bad, but anyway, we'll change it later. Control space bar to open this, then go in Megascans 3D assets. You can open a folder, then drag and drop the asset in your scene. Press F on your keyboard to instantly get close. Wow, that one is really small. If you don't have enough control when moving it, just turn off snapping. You can now place it where you want. Now back to 3D assets and let's just add everything in the scene. The piles more around the back. The barricades, we'll place them later but you can still place them close enough to where you want them to be. I place the barriers to the right and the cone in the middle. The camera is too fast. That's a little annoying. Change it to something slower. 0.33 sounds good. The ground looks bad, doesn't it? Select it and find landscape material again. I think it was simply too zoomed in. 0.3 should be good. Yeah, way better. Please add a camera. Plus cinematic cine camera actor. Then click perspective and get in this camera. Find a good place for it, then get out. If you want to keep the camera view here, pin it. Of course, it has to be selected in the outliner, else you wouldn't have the camera view here. Let me go back in it. I'm just not totally satisfied with the current position. Okay, better. If you did that too, don't forget to pin the camera again. The reason to pin the camera is so you can select other objects while still seeing the camera view. Now, we can build the scene. This barricade will be the focus point. It has to be close to the camera. Remember, you can use Q, W, E, and R on your keyboard to quickly switch tools like move, scale, and rotate. These are shortcuts you really need to get comfortable with. I'm still trying to find a good spot for my barricade. You don't have to be in the camera view to move it. You can also just move the camera. Now I'm just placing the hazard light on my barricade. I unpinned the camera view and had to put my camera speed lower to place the light. Okay, looks good. Now go back in the camera. Right now the barricade is blurry and the rest of the scene very clear. I want the opposite. So select the camera in the outliner if it isn't already, then scroll down and find the focus settings. Click on this picker, then pick an object that will become the focus point. In this case, we want the barricade. Perfect. Now the barricade is clear and the background blurry. Still in the camera settings, you can change the aperture here. Lower value, blurrier background. A lot of fun stuff to do here, but for this video, we'll keep it at 2.8. Or not, as you wish. I think this cone could go right here. Get off the camera. Open the bridge tab. And the reason I came back here is because I don't have enough details to add on the ground. 
so I'll get this cobblestone pack and we'll place it around the scene later in the video. I'm also taking these two bricks. Now take the bridge tab with you and place it around here. That way we can just quickly drag and drop the assets we just downloaded in the scene. Okay, put it back at its place. I pinned the camera again and now I am starting to build up the scene. The sand piles can be a lot bigger. Just keep moving, rotating, and scaling everything as you want, and let's build a cool scene. I'm putting a lot of cones and bricks around here, because that's where the construction takes place. You can imagine there is a hole there, but we won't see it because I will put a barrier in front of it, so no need to actually make a hole. Back to bridge, go to 3D Assets, Street Barrier, and get this one. Back to the scene, then control space. Find the new barrier, then add it. As I said 18 seconds ago, this barrier will go in front of the imaginary hole. Perfect. Now let's keep building the scene. The ground is still too flat and lacks details, I'm adding this pile sand right here. I'm thinking all of these could be much closer to the camera. I had this pack of mini cobblestones, so I'm adding them all around the scene. I need some rocks for my construction zone. This one looks good. Hold Ctrl and L to move the sun. Time to add fog. Well, before choosing a fog value, let's turn on volumetric fog. Still need some high enough value to make a difference. So you scroll down here and check this box. Now we can try some good density and see what it does. For now, it will be 0.1. Maybe we'll change it later. Okay, let's now add the trees. Open Epic, go to the marketplace and search for Megascans tree. These will work perfectly. Add it to your project. I won't cause I already did. Once added, you should have a black alder folder. Foliage is for if you want to paint the trees like we paint grass and other small plants. I show this in other videos. Geometry is what you want. This one allows you to directly import the trees in your scene. Just drag and drop. Voila, you got a tree. You might need to get out of the camera to place it.
Oh, and for all these annoying things in the view, just press G on your keyboard to hide them. Let's now get a good lighting. You can select directional light and put the intensity a little lower. Five looks good. You now select skylight. Skylight ensure that the whole scene is bright enough and that there aren't any too dark shadows. Let's put this one higher. Two looks good. Now open Epic again. And this time, search for twin motion posed. These are all ready to use, posed humans. You can't animate them, but for a simple render, they are amazing. You should pick this one if you want the construction workers. Again, just add to your project. And there it is. Find the two construction workers from this pack and add them to your scene. And now you can place them. The clouds, we should certainly adjust them. Just move around these two first option, see what it does, and find something to your liking. You can find other easy-to-follow environment tutorials in this playlist. Thanks for watching. See you soon.